Hello everyone still subscribed to me. My name is Cassius. Some of you may know me as Hayden and did you know that American Psycho was based off of me? So a few weeks ago or maybe a few months ago I got an official diagnosis and it was not what I expected at all. So I'm schizoaffective which is a combination of mood disorder and schizophrenia. A psychosis which it hit me from total surprise from the side because what but looking back it kind of clicked once I processed it like yeah that pretty much sums up everything I've been through my psychosis has affected me in every aspect of my life without me even knowing that it was around from the way that I work to my daily life to my relationships or lack thereof and finding out I had this disorder and getting medication for it as well as for my depression, it has sort of unlocked this version of life I never even knew was kept for me for so long, and it took a lot to even start the process. Schizoaffective disorder manifests a lot of different ways for a lot of different people. For me, I suppose it was major mood episodes, strong highs and lows, depressive episodes, as well as your like classic psychosis symptoms like delusions, hallucinations, paranoia. It's funny saying that out loud because I know my reality has a lot of delusion woven throughout it that makes it knowing their delusions and still seeing them as reality that can sort of coexist for a lot of people with psychosis especially if they know that they have psychosis like i know realistically the idea of there being a alternate world for full of alternate me's is like a bit like what the fuck are you talking about but also that's solidified in my reality and I confidently speak about it because I don't mind people knowing that's how I live my life. It's just odd having a definition on it finally after 23 years of just living different than everyone around me not knowing why I was different. I could honestly go on about my reality and maybe one day I will. It's not harmful compared to my other symptoms, but it is certainly out there. That's just how I live my life though, and I'm more okay with it now that I know that there's a reason. I've always been open about this part of my life, but now knowing that it's tied in with my psychosis, it's very eye-opening. It's made me feel honestly more confident about admitting these things because, you know, like I said, there's a reason finally, and that reason is okay. What really put a fucking damper on my life was the paranoia and the mood swings. Those things didn't just affect how I live with my life, it also affected my relationships as well. It's honestly hard to get into detail, but my symptoms manifest in ways that make it incredibly hard to maintain any close friendships, relationships without extra work from both sides. A lot of extra work. That's what disorders boil down to, basically. It's always extra work, and it's not always worth it either. I don't fault the people in my past that figured there wasn't enough to salvage because after all to be honest unmedicated undiagnosed me was a little shit in the worst ways and I had months of worse ways at a time but that only makes me appreciate the people who have stuck around immensely more work isn't just required from the other side it takes a lot to push to the clouds of mania, of paranoia, of breakdowns, and to keep myself above and try to be a good person. It's hard to do, and I do fail, and I have failed a lot. There was this one time where I was just utterly convinced that this nice enough dude that I went on three dates with was stalking me and following me for no reason other than he just 
texted me a few times asking how I was. I ended up breaking up that relationship because of the intense, intense paranoia. And I've had moments, so many of those like that, where this disorder has caused me so much strife in my relationships. But I have now people close to me that keep by me no matter what. Like my boyfriend, my best friend, all my friends. And it makes it worlds easier than it really could be right now. Because I'm medicated now, I can slowly see myself fighting through these bouts of paranoia, of breakdowns, easier and easier. And it's letting me be a better person with less work put in. My ultimate life goal is to be a good person without sabotaging myself, which I'm happy to say it has been getting easier and I'm happy that it's showing in the relationships that I'm maintaining. Meeting people who have psychosis and befriend befriending them has made this process worlds nicer as well. Having relationships with those who go through similar hardships, having their patience and understanding when I slip up, it's, it's humanizing in a way I've never experienced before, and it makes me feel lighter. These people have helped me learn and process my disorder much more than I could have myself, because I had been living this life for all my life, and having terms and examples and definitions ready for me from people who have been through all that I'm going through, it makes understanding myself easier. And I've learned more about myself in the past few months than I knew my entire life. I've made friends with a good amount of really good people who experience psychosis and talking about things that seem so mundane to me but are so out there with these people has taken a lot of weight off my shoulders. It feels exciting to be normal, to have conversations with people like me and no longer feel out there or freaky. I find freedom in the mundane of it all. It feels like I'm just existing now, finally, and there's no need to either hide what goes on with me or be labeled as, you know, too crazy to be around the normal people, quote, end quote. Getting my diagnosis and getting the medication I needed to live a better life was really difficult. I don't have insurance and I grew up in like a lot of people in this household that was like nope not us we don't have mental health issues we don't have that kind of stuff going on that doesn't happen here so I grew up without any knowledge of how to get these resources when I finally became an adult and for the longest time I was lost and I had no idea where to really start it actually took going to the hospital for something that I assumed was completely unrelated to finally be pushed in the direction I needed, needed to go, to find a place to diagnose me, to be prescribed the medication that I needed. And in a way, I'm still lost to a lot of things, but I have this start I can work off of, and that's all I really needed was just the start. Growing up with no one talking about these kind of things put a serious damper on what could have been my early progress, and I think that's why I'm so open about it now. I don't want it to be hush-hush that I go through this. It's as much of a part of me as anything else I have in my life. I don't want to experience trying to pretend it's all okay again, or pretend that there's actually nothing wrong with me. And I think if these things weren't so heavily stigmatized, if psychosis and depression could be talked about openly without this air of, oh, that's weird, oh, that can't happen to me, that's, 
that's something that killers have in movies. I would have had an easier time as a kid finding out what was up with me and getting the resources that I needed. Psy psychosis isn't a serial killer disorder, it's just something some people go through their lives carrying with them, and these people can be anyone. That's who I am, and knowing that and knowing those who have this with me, alongside me, I want to spread, you know, this message that, you know, mood and personality disorders, they aren't evil and they can be talked about as nonchalantly as anything else. It can be openly discussed, and I love discussing it. It's just one part of my life, after all.